guys welcome back to my channel in case you're new here my name is Martha and you're most welcome this is a beauty and lifestyle channel I am especially so excited today because don't mind I'm, I'm wearing I'm still wearing the same top because I'm um, I filmed like two videos today yeah I like I updated you guys about what I'm planning to do for the rest of the days now that we are in total lockdown as from Wednesday so I said that I'm still going to declutter my closet and voila guys I am done I have been on this project literally since morning honestly like since after I like I filmed that video I edited and I started decluttering my closet as up I'm going to show you in this video how I how I did it all like especially how much clutter was just lying around my closet it's insane it's really it's a lot honestly it's a lot I didn't even think about it but it's so much can you imagine like a whole six bags of clothes that I don't necessarily need was still lying in my closet and taking space for no particular reason guess how long I have not decluttered my closet I was just talking to Jay and I asked him how long do you think I haven't decluttered my closet and he was like I believe since we started living together <laughs> what what do you know like that is such a long time ago I have not specifically decluttered for over five years and that's insane even thinking about it and when I think about some of the clothes that I have actually let go of I've had those clothes that long definitely so I think he's right I know it's really tricky especially for moms to be able to do this because for, for me for example like thinking okay uh, my size changes all the time since I started you know since the first time I got pregnant I add a lot of weight and then I lose a lot of weight and then I add again because now I've had my second born I've added a lot of weight again and of course I'm not sure how I'm going to look like in a few months time so that can be actually distracting when you when it comes to actually decluttering what fits you what doesn't fit you what do you need to keep in case you go back to that size most of what I actually got rid of is things that are old, things that are things that I'm sure that I won't go back to that size again. Uh, also, some nice pieces which I think would, you know, somebody else would. would th th let me say, like Mary, uh, things that will bring joy to somebody else. Yeah, things that not necessarily sparkle joy. And I hope you guys get motivated to also do yours because I don't know how I don't know what else to do in this lockdown honestly so what I've been doing is decluttering my home because let me tell you I am so motivated to go into 2021 with a clean house clean head clean everything and organized head and plan and life and a home of course
there we go so, so over there are the clothes that are living and this is what is staying okay so I've got my pulleys over there I've got my homeware over here got my sleeping stuff over here I've got with tangles over here like African African fabric that I can actually use and I've got my deras over here literally I could wear deras like for two weeks straight without washing I've got my African shirts over there I've got summer stuff that I need to take out or rather store away I've got lessers, monomkeni leso. <laughs> I've got my homeware and homeware and that there is my October 1st attire that is staying still. These ones are my summer hats. These ones are dungarees that I'm going to take back in and these are just some dresses that I can use in winter also. Yeah, I like that. So I've already wiped down the shelves and I'm now going to find um, a way to put them back in in order. So all done with that side. Next this place right here. Uh, here, here is the box where I store my jackets yeah winter or summer jackets I want to start right there first and see if I have a bit of space for my summer wear right there There we have it i have the jeans the tops the t-shirts and the scarves all um organized over here and obviously also what doesn't need to go back is right over there in that heap now it's time to put things that i still need back into those shelves usually wrap him with a lasso like this I usually tie him up like that his arms inside and everything so he doesn't like um, have those reflex and wake himself up but I'm going to put him down now and then I can continue luckily
this is one of my favorite dresses I bought this in the US but um, like see how see how sexy this can look yeah but um, I think it's time I think it's time for me to say goodbye I, I know why I got most of everything that I wear that I own and I I remember exactly why I found this you can't tell but this well is one of my inexpensive pieces like and you can't tell like it's silk and it's a romper If you know this brand let me know in the comment section but this dress this this dress has been with me for years as like ever since I was very very slender I mean I could still fit in here except for my bust at the moment because I'm breastfeeding but this dress is from a brand called one two three Paris imagine i was once a size 36 hello wow a french size 38 wow yeah that was me <laughs> father lord i also barely got to wear this one thing about germany is you really get events you really get events where you can really dress elegantly let me know in the comment section if you guys can relate in germany you really you you really get to wear your your very elegant stuff unless like you really create that time to maybe go for dinners maybe go find events to attend but you barely get the time to, or the place to wear some stuff yeah but this one was actually bought for a wedding then uh, and it has been worn about two three more times imagine only I think I've got a story for every dress because me and dresses I love dresses so much and I barely buy anything unless I need it or have fallen in love with it so you guys can can you see this dress does it look like money to you hmm this dress I bought in a, a very random shop in Poland <laughs> we were in Poland for a wedding and uh, we just went into a shop and I fitted this dress and it was amazing it was fitting so well one time I was wearing this um, don't ask me why I was dressed like this for a flight but yeah I wore this dress and I was at the airport in a very expensive um, designer shop and the lady who was selling at that shop had to ask me which brand this dress is <laughs> wow like it looks that expensive and I am telling you it was from a very random shop very inexpensive Ugh, look at that oh my god and it's heavy like it's quality like it's really good quality I just love it I can't wait to fit back in here this makes me happy can you can you realize that can you tell this one was for the wedding in Poland yeah this is the dress that I wore for the wedding in Poland I would love to give this to someone Honestly, I think that was the only place I ever wore this dress to. Maybe another one more time. Like I said, you don't get the place to wear such. This is from Little Mistress London. Also very good quality. Very good quality. I'd love to bless someone with this one. But, but in the time being, I'm going to hang it back. Until I know who's going to inherit this. 
I literally almost cannot see this dress anymore. I wore this dress so many times when I was pregnant. Yeah, that's the second time. I wore this dress so, so many times. Behind this particular dress is my birth story. Oh my God, I don't want to get emotional right here, but behind this dress is my birth story. May Corona give me a chance to wear this dress please anywhere. I bought this dress, I have literally never worn it anywhere apart from a place called Instagram. Very elegant, yeah, very attractive. It's a very attractive dress. guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you want me to do a proper tour of the closet let me know in the comment section and i'm going to do that for you in the meantime stay safe and i wish you a great christmas season guys bye